you've probably heard about average speed over distance cameras going up on a highway near you. You might even have been caught out by one such setup. They're meant to change driver behavior and get us all to slow down a bit. But how do they really work? Juliet found out. Speed is a huge problem on our roads and accounts for so many road deaths. Last year saw more average speed over distant cameras populate our cities. So just how successful are they in curbing speed? First off, what exactly is an average speed over distance system or ASOD camera? It's a system that calculates the average speed of a vehicle from the time it passes the first camera until it passes the second camera. Basically, it works like this. The first camera snaps your car at the time you pass it. A little further down the road, a second camera snaps your car and records the time you passed it. The system then works out your speed from how long it took you to get from camera one to camera two. An ASOD camera uses specialized cameras which record every vehicle that passes. They are referred to as automatic number plate recognition or ANPR cameras. There is also a GPS receiver connected to each camera to accurately relay the time. In each camera cluster, there are two cameras synced to each other. Each unit is equipped with an onboard computer that processes the information passed onto it by the cameras using proprietary software. The camera uses the number plate of a vehicle as its trigger. Once a number plate has been detected, one camera takes a snapshot of the number plate and the other takes an overview snapshot of the vehicle. At this point, the exact time that the vehicle passed the camera is also captured. The system then combines the two images, location coordinates, date and timestamp into one encrypted file. This process takes place in the cameras at each end of that section of road. The cameras put an end to the typical speedster's response of slamming on brakes as they pass the speed trap, only to accelerate again afterwards. You also can't escape a fine by changing lanes. The matching system is efficient enough that it will find you no matter what lane you're in. The average speed over distance system that we have on this particular stretch of road, I've actually looked at the statistics previously and I can tell you that the average speed over distance definitely generates less offences compared to a fixed camera or to the cameras that are used by officers when they uh, are standing on the side of the road and doing normal speed checking with a camera as well. We moved to the average speed over distance system because we felt it was a more fair system to measure people's speeds in the first instance and also that it was more effective over a longer period of, of the road. And um, if you look at the average speed over distance as it stands on this section here now, it definitely has changed driver behaviour. So not only is there a reduction in speeding and changes in driver behaviour, but the public may feel it is a better way to be monitored, as you aren't caught unawares. Not that you should be speeding in the first place, but I'm all for technology that keeps people safer on our roads.